Michelle Noel here with my special guest host, Ming Chen from AMC Comic Book Man. Hey, Ming, how is it going? It's going great. How are you? I'm doing so great. I, I, I didn't even know you were coming today, so I was so excited to see you. So what brings you out here to San Diego Comic Con? Well, I mean, besides the madness and uh, <laughs> pop culture, comics, exclusives, toys, New friends, old friends, awesome. uh, Kevin Smith, Hall H. Oh, yeah, that's a big deal this year. Uh, after parties, uh, oh. open bars, Look boats. I, there's some. There's so much to do out here, and I want to live all of it. So Perfect. I'm, now, is this your first time here at San Diego Comic Con? Uh, no, it's my second time. Uh, technically, my third time. I okay. first came in 2003. Um, Kevin Smith. We used to have a whole merchandise yep. booth. We would drive stuff out from the store. Yep. It was too crazy, though. Then, for reasons uh, unknown, I took a 15-year break. Oh. Okay. Just for timing and money yeah. and all that. Uh, so I came back last year and I was like, oh, things have changed a little bit since 2003. Yes. But yes. I had so much fun last year. I was like, I got to come back this year. Oh so gosh. here I am. How do you compare San Diego Comic Con to <laughs> compared to all the other cons that you've been to? I, I mean, one is incomparable. Like, yeah. if you go on the street and you ask any casual person, they say, hey, have you heard of Comic Cons? Yeah. Like, oh, like the big one in San Diego? Like, immediately, that's what they think of. So this is like the Super Bowl for of sure. cons. As compared to you know the other cons are maybe you know like the, the you know just the regular season games. I hear so you. this is this is a big one. They, they have, everything, everything's bigger out in San Diego. The, the the exhibit hall, the autograph area, the celebrities they bring in, For in here. For sure, especially the cosplayers. Is there any particular cosplayer that you were kind of fond of? Like wow, that was a really cool one. Uh, I've seen a couple. Okay. I'm I'm um I'm I'm I have a fondness for the Bruce Lee cosplayers. Oh, yeah. A lot of Bruce Lee cosplayers. Um, anybody who does uh, characters from. Quentin Tarantino movies, but you get some pretty elaborate ones. Uh, Rick sure. and Morty is a very popular uh, cosplay oh, now. Yeah. Okay. See some great pickle Ricks uh, today. And then uh, from the anime world as well, you know, Super Sonico, things like that. So I've seen some great cosplay. So you're pretty much here just promoting and just, you know, sh chilling with the fans. I mean, that's so thoughtful of you for considering to come back to San Diego Comic Con for that. Um, is there any news about comic book men coming back? I, mean, I'm, I am so bummed. I cannot believe thank that. Thank you. I, I'm <laughs> bummed too. I, I, I loved it. I mean, if it wasn't me and yeah. my friends, I, and it was like four other guys, I, w I totally would have watched it as well. Yeah. I was just lucky enough to be one of those guys. But um, as far as it coming out, yeah, I've, if something's in the works, they haven't told me. Okay. But I, I mean, in this day and age with all the streaming services, sure, yeah. the apps, and uh, you know, and the, all the networks, I mean, there, no one's really creating any original content no, anymore. No, no. I'm sure. still ready, man. I'm ready yeah. to come back. And I think uh, you know, our show is not that expensive to produce. So, uh, you know, Netflix. That's true. There's if you're listening out there, Hulu, Please. Mr. Hulu, if Come you're listening, on, you're your fans. <laughs> yeah, um, I, you know, I'm ready. Um, I'm not. I don't. I'm not very expensive, and uh, and and you know, we love what we do. No, it's we love really doing true. it. We all do it for free. I mean, we well, well, do it for free. I mean, not that free, but okay. We'll let's not out. go that far, but yeah. <laughs> No worries. Now, you've worn a lot of hats, uh, writing, producing, podcasting, hosting. Is there a particular thing that you like the most doing? I, oh, podcasting, for, for sure. sure. Okay. I love, I love uh, much like we're doing now, yeah. you know, we're creating our own content. And, uh, you know, we did take the yeah. direction of our shows. We, you know, we book our own guests. We talk about whatever topic we want to talk about. I yeah. think that the podcast medium is so great because anybody can do it. And um, you can I'm, you can talk about whatever you want. For sure. And uh, I think you know in this realm, in the comic book realm, you know, uh, geeks, yeah, nerds, uh, pop culture fans, what what what's their biggest thing is their opinion. Exactly. They love to express their opinion. For sure. If um, if something is awesome, yeah, like a movie, we really when we want we want to talk about it. Oh. If they messed it up, if it yep. sucks, then we really want to talk about For it and sure. tell them what they did wrong. Exactly. So, but I just love uh. You know, not only us, you know, I, I, like anybody can start a podcast, but even guys like Kevin and, uh, you know, and, and Michael Rosenbaum, who played yeah. Lex Luthor, they, mm -hmm. they start podcasts. We love them. yeah. And, it's, and they should be because they have a built-in audience. Oh, yeah. And I want to I want to hear their opinion. Yeah. I want to hear them once a week. <laughs> I want to see, you know, what they what they do uh, on their shows. You know, it's scripted and yeah. they're playing a character. But the podcast, that's them. Yeah, that's there's a real. whole other side of Michael Rosebud I didn't even yep. know about, other oh. than the Lex Luthor thing. I'm like, yep. wow, there's the, there's more to yeah, that character. Yeah, he's deep, and he's funny, yeah. too. He's really hilarious. He's funny, so, yeah, I want everyone to podcast. Going back to Kevin Smith, have you heard anything about the new Jay and Silent Bob? <laughs> Are you going to be planning on being in it? Uh, the uh, the new trailer just came out, okay. and it's pretty amazing awesome. because uh, not only are uh, a lot of his alumni from the old movies back, but some big names yeah. that you wouldn't have expected in a Kevin Smith movie oh, wow. are also in this movie as well. And uh, yeah, the, will you see the comic book men 
Keep your eyes open, everybody. Oh, I Keep your wait. eyes open. And you, you'll you might see, see like AMC made a big boo boo canceling that show because you're going to see box office numbers going right. Really I believe up. so. Yes. Oh yeah, that's going to yeah. really bring you guys I believe back. So. Just a uh, quick synopsis of your geekiest moments of this year with all the movies that's been out. Is there anything particular that kind of popped up to you and said, yeah, that's my highlight of the year? Uh, I mean, um, Avengers Endgame, much, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I, it's been a long time since I sat in a theater and, you know, and at maybe one moment, like, the whole theater just jumps up and starts cheering yeah. or, like, people just start losing it during the movie. Yeah. It's been a long time since I've seen that kind of exciting emotion in the movie. But, yeah, I was at Endgame. I went the Thursday night yep. before. Uh, everybody's pumped up. They're waiting. Uh, you know, a year-long build-up, and uh, and it, and it lived up to it. But I, I, I moments like that, you don't see that very often. Oh no, for sure. Yeah, and then uh, Game of Thrones. Yes. Uh, you know, a lot of people. Made season eight very controversial, yeah. rushed. Yeah. Sure, but it was still enjoy. It was great. Yeah. It was still so much fun. Um, you know, episodic TV doesn't really exist anymore. No, where no. you have to wait for a new episode on every Sunday night. Yeah. So it was kind of cool. Like you know, I, I knew Sunday at yep. nine. <laughs> Don't call me. Don't yes. text me. Don't don't even try to talk to me. And for that sure. the same goes for my friends yeah. too, because we're watching Game of Thrones. Yeah, I'm glad we all got the closure. I mean, it's better than getting closure than getting canceled. And yeah, you know, yeah, we all no, know that yeah. pain. I mean, if nothing, they definitely went out on top. So yeah. it was no doubt. I also heard you're a big Ninja Turtles fan. I am. And since we are from the website as well, can you tell us about you know what was your, who's your favorite turtle in your favorite movie? I um I I got. I, I remember in the Turtles uh, back in the 80s, uh, my comic shop had, and I'm like, oh. I'm like, who are these? And it was in black and white back then. And I was like, well, where's this gritty, like, you know, down and dirty co uh, comic with yeah. four ninja turtles and a talking rat? Like, what <laughs> is this? And and I was like, well, this is cool. And they're, you know, back then it was a little more violent before it went, you know, more kind of mainstream. A little dark, yeah. I remember. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, I remember buying, a, it was a, third reprinting of issue three I think oh is where gosh. I started okay so I went back and got reprints of the first two and, and then I kept going from there I was like this is really cool and then it kind of took off into the phenomena yep. that it is now so I watched the cartoons yep. I played the video games I ate the pizza oh my yeah God. I watched <laughs> the movies yeah the uh, I you know I uh, vanilla ice yeah yeah oh yeah I, go ninja go ninja yeah my go favorite memory uh, I went to a con uh, they had vanilla ice perform at the wow. at the after party with four turtles cosplayers behind him oh, wow. and he did the ninja rap oh. and it was it was like being in the movie That's so, so yeah my favorite huh? i'm probably a mikey fan you're mikey, mikey fan okay. I, uh, what about I'm very, the, uh, your favorite movie though uh, oh the, probably the first one the first yeah. one everybody's like yeah. that, i wish i hope they continue that with the new version yeah. and vanilla ice is going to be in town in a few weeks yeah he's still boy. alive he hasn't gone I anywhere believe, like, he's guys. flipping houses now so yeah he'll, I'm, I'm sure he's he'll come back many talents yeah, i'm glad he you know sure. branched out and then what's your favorite pizza topping Oh man, I mean, I like my loaded. Okay. I want everything I on like there. That. Yeah. Yeah, but if if I only had to pick one, it gotta be pepperoni because that little okay. little kick on there, little spiciness, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you know, you know, get your get your protein in there. Awesome. Yeah, definitely pepperoni. And then, what's your favorite uh, a turtle slogan? Is it cowabunga or turtle power? Uh, oh, I probably go cowabunga. Cowabunga. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll, yeah, we'll I, close it out yeah, on that one. Yeah. Okay. I, used, I used to surf, so yeah, cowabunga, cowabunga. dudes. Yeah. I like it. Okay, let's close it out on that. So. May, thank you so much for joining us, and be sure to check him up online in his podcast show, and uh, we'll provide the link on our website as well. So, Ming, thank you so much for joining us and coming to San Diego Comic Con. I'm Michelle Noel with Ming Chen, and hopefully we'll see you guys next time. And then you, on three, we'll do Cowabunga. Okay. One, two, three. Cowabunga! Cowabunga!